Hey everyone, it's Brennan the Paleo Dude back with another Jurassic World toy review. Today we'll be taking a look at two of the new uh, figures out at the Camp Cretaceous toy line. They're both attack pack figures, the Proceratosaurus and the Solorus. So these guys are very stunning in color. We've got a mint green like body with this brown coloration on the back and some really pretty blues. It seems like Mattel always has something fancy planned for their Solaris figures. And if you take a look, even the toenails are painted, which is a really nice addition to the figure. On the back, you can see there's a Solaris, Proceratosaurus, and Bumpy and Trodon, also in the toy line. Um, now taking a look at the Proceratosaurus, it's this really interesting gray, maybe a little dash of bluish color. It's got a light underbelly that really pops. The bottom jaw, the neck, and the stomach are all that color. It has this brown going down its back and a really nice orange to bring its head more, uh, more pop to its head, you know? Um, the eyes, both of the eyes on here are painted. They have pupils. The teeth are painted in each of them, even the insides of the mouths. So it's really nice that Mattel are getting those details into these figures. Now let's get them unboxed. We'll start with the Solaris. So I picked these guys up at Toys R Us um, at my recent toy hauls, which you've probably seen. Um, and I was surprised that they came to Canada. I saw plenty of them in the States and um, I was really hoping to find them. I actually thought they would pop up at Walmart first, but surprise, surprise, they're at Toys R Us. Now having this figure out of the package, it's really slim, really light, and a really nice theropod build. The tail can rotate around. It has a little hook or curve at the end of the tail. And um, you can see one of my favorite uh, details about this figure is it actually has the painted nails, which is something we don't get a majority of in Mattel's lineups anymore. Um, the arms are posable. You can have many cute positions, like it's eating or running, which is really cool. Um, the jaw also has articulation. It closes really well over the top of the teeth. And again, these colors on the head really highlight the dinosaur's features well. There we go. Now let's take a look at that scan code real quick. There we go. Now let's take a look at the Proceratosaurus figure. We have quite a few of these now in the toy line. Um, this is one of the dinosaurs that was originally meant to be in Jurassic Park 1993, and um, it was on the brochure, and I'm pretty sure the DNA vials as well. Wow. Now, looking at this figure out of package, it's apparent that this darker color is some dark navy blue, and that is an absolutely fantastic addition to Mattel's color roster. And these two coming out in the same lineup, you can see the stark differences in color, they really stand out from each other, and I enjoy the vibrance of their heads and their body colorations. Um, so you can see Proceratosaurus has these longer arms um, and long legs as well. You can pose it up. It's got a fairly short tail in comparison to its body, and here's a downward position. You can fold the arms up like it's drinking, and the mouth closes. The teeth from the top jaw overhang. And you can see the inside of the mouth, the tongue is painted. It's a close-up on the face. I think the horn has a different color on the tip, which is really cool. It's nice to see they're packing more colors into each of these figures. So we'll grab the scan code real quick as well. Hopefully you guys could get that. So there you go. These two are definitely great additions to the newer lineup. Um, I've really been wanting to see a repaint of Solaris, and now we finally have one. So I hope you guys can find these at stores in the States or wherever you are. And again, I'm really, really happy and glad to add them to the collection. Hope you guys enjoyed this review, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.